Hey everyone, Dan Scott, Bible Geek, where this video is in conjunction with my last video where I pointed out that midnight here, which is the second watch time of Luke 12, 38, of course it divides the 12 hours of the night in half. Okay, so where are we here? And midnight begins the third watch time, which is Cox voice, the sign given Peter. And it's the Cox voice that will bring in the last of the right hand of Christ's body in the last days. So, as I said in the previous video, the second and third watch times here divide Daniel's 70th week in half. So the second watch time is the first half. And then the second half, beginning at midnight, completes the blissful are those designation. So the third watch time is the dragging along of Daniel 12, 12. Blissful, the one dragging along, where there is an extended grace period into the fourth watch time, which is the curse of Matthew 25, 41, prepared for the left day. Now here in Daniel chapter 9, the anointed Duke is the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the son of human. This is why he's called Duke, all right, where the coming Duke here is the Antichrist, the antithesis to the Christ, where, of course, the 70, the seven periods of seven plus 62 periods of seven leaves the seven years that are impending. And then here, we see the half. And after the 62 periods of seven, the anointed will be cut off and nothing is to him. And the people of the coming duke will corrupt. So this is at the half, midnight, when verse 27, and he will in mighty a covenant for many, for one period of seven, so this one period of seven encompasses both the second and third watch times. And at the half of the period of seven, he will cause sacrifice and donation to cease, etc. So the half, again, is the midst or middle, 2 Thessalonians 2, 7. And then the lawless one who is the coming duke, the Antichrist, the human of lawlessness will be unveiled. So the out of the midst or middle, midnight, is when five out of ten of the sober-minded virgins enter the wedding feasts, according to the second watch time order. But then, of course, the third watch time, blissful are those, again, are blissful the ones dragging along, who will make up the lower members of the body of Christ, who are figured as the feet of the body. So here in Matthew 24, 15, the one and only mention of Daniel by Jesus himself, when you perceive Daniel, the one talked through the Daniel prophet, flee. Well, those here who are instructed to flee into the mountains are third watch timers. Okay, where then here, the great affliction, verse 21. For then will be great affliction. So, we have to understand that if those who want to say we're going through the time of the great affliction, well, yes, that's true. We, the body, the members locked out, but we who enter the wedding feasts, we go through it as officiating spirits who are the angels Jesus talks about here. Verse 31, we're still in Matthew 24, and he will dispatch his angels with the great trumpet and will lead on with the superposition of the leading together his outchosen ones out of the four winds, where if we consider this verse in Mark 13, 28, okay, it's the same context. Here we jump down to verse 34 and 45 as the parable of the watch time orders. So they're being led out of the fourth watch time, meaning they don't go into it, where then the left named are cut off into the fourth watch time which in the Old Testament is called the shahar, the black redness, early red dawn, where in Isaiah 14, 12, Hallel 
is the son of the fourth watch time. Where in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, the duke, the human counterpart of Hillel, the human of lawlessness, is unveiled, answers what kind of watch time the thief comes, the thief who is the human of lawlessness. Matthew 24, 43, where in Luke chapter 12, where Jesus enumerates the second and third watch times, it's what kind of hour. So after he names the second and third watch times, here it's narrowed down to what kind of hour the thief comes, according to a dug through, which the dug through is into the third watch time, who do not come into the wedding feasts as officiating angels, spirits. So what kind of hour the thief comes is the kind when the sober-minded virgins come out of the midst. That's the kind of hour, which hour is midnight. And the kind of watch time is the kind of watch time when the sheep of John 10 enter the door of the courtyard, not the wedding, which concludes when the sheep at the right are segregated from the left named. And here's our right-left paradigm, where the sheep at the conclusion during the third watch time are designated my least brothers. They're the last to come into the blissful right hand, including other sheep who are locked out. The one last sheep who falls into a pit will be raised up. All the dragging along comes in. And then the left named are wholly loosened away into the fourth watch time conclusion of the present heavens and earth, which Hillel is Diabolos, son of the fourth watch time. So everything that concerns the unveiling of the Duke, the human of lawlessness, the Antichrist, what kind of watch time is the third watch time which begins at midnight and concludes into the Cox voice with the dragging along? So again, those who come into the wedding feasts of the officiating spirits of angels at midnight will go through the time of the great affliction together with those who are locked out. But we, when we say that we're going through the time of the great affliction and we're deeming to do so with what I call boots on the ground, the down establish of Matthew 24, 45, and 247, you will be locked out of the wedding at midnight. You will be foolish. Sheep. The figure of sheep designates those who have to become sober-minded. If you are a sheep, you have to become sober-minded, meaning that prior to becoming such, you're foolish. So I'm just, I'm not saying this to belittle you if you're deeming that you're going to go through the great affliction, but I just, I'm saying this to show you what the Word of God reveals and tell you that I'll be right beside you, but I'm not going to be a boots on the ground. I will be an angel. So think about it. God bless.